Hey everybody, at BV Manson here. Quick update on the progress of the 1967 CB77. The other day we sandblasted all the blue bits for this beautiful motorcycle, including the frame. Frame is ready to be painted. I got the uh, swing arm hanging out over here. Got parts hanging out all over the place. I went ahead, lightly sanded everything with 180 and then used acetone uh, to make sure I got all my little fingerprints off of everything. We're ready to rock and roll. We're going with the good stuff today. We're gonna do epoxy primer gray on the majority of the parts or the heavy usage parts. So frame, swing arm, center stand. I'm gonna hit it with the epoxy gray primer. The other parts, the lighter bits, I'm gonna go with another two part rapid primer filler. So these are all 2K products, two part. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you got a respirator, really good airflow when you're working with this stuff. This stuff is some potent stuff. This stuff is gonna make this stuff bomb proof. So yeah, that's it. Three coats, according to the directions, three coats of the primer and let it sit for 24 hours. That's the epoxy side of things. The filler primer, really regular paint as far as that goes. So might be able to get some color on later today on some of these other bits. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take it nice and slow, but uh, let's go. A little throwback here for everybody who's been watching the channel for a while. Shake your paint. How many times did I say that in the original series? I'm getting real close to laying some paint, but two minutes of vigorous shaking is what it says to make sure you get both parts mixed up well. Paint is ready, and I did tape off that original sticker with the uh, frame information and all of that, so it is officially go time on the frame. I'll give you some updates as I move through this. Of course, you can always watch the previous video where I walk through painting a frame. Pretty straightforward. Only difference using the epoxy today. All right, progress is being made. <laughs> epoxy primer is in. It did take two full cans of the epoxy primer to do all of these bits on the 67 CB 77, okay? There's a lot of nooks and crannies on the frame that you gotta deal with. So it did take two full cans of that. And I have worked my way through on primer on all of the other bits as well with the filler primer. Now, the filler primer is a little bit darker. I can show you here. It's a little bit darker than the epoxy primer. So I'm gonna do a couple little tests uh, with color just to make sure that I'm not gonna have a bunch of different shades. I experimented with some darker base coats and things like that. So I, I think I'm gonna be okay, but I'm gonna do some testing to make sure. Um, the filler primer, I am absolutely in like with this stuff. This stuff goes on smooth and it goes like, it goes a long ways. Um, I'm on one and a quarter cans on this. So this goes a heck of a lot further. Um, the epoxy just empties out really, 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 really quickly. So yeah, rocking and rolling. I got one drip I gotta take care of. Let that dry, sand it out and then re-hit it. Um, but not too bad with all of these little bits going on only have one drip but yeah there we go exciting exciting this frame swing arm and the center stand look amazing it's gonna look great look at that mess I changed my car my car oil on both our vehicles today uh, let's just say I should stick to motorcycles <laughs> all right we'll keep on going I'm gonna let this dry up and we should be able to see some color today and uh, at least see if we're on the right track there should be all right see you in the next piece Oh yeah, I totally forgot about a really good tip, all right, for when you're working on these. So number one, Skull Vikes, all right? But uh, make sure you cover up your coffee, all right, with something while you're painting or sandblasting or anything. I ruined like three cups of coffee yesterday when I was sandblasting, so I always put a cover on that coffee. Skull Vikes. All right, we have started laying color down and it's going really nice and smooth and the good thing is 
because I'm not seeing any difference in the epoxy primer versus the filler primer at all. Same color blue, so I don't think I need to go and darken this primer. Uh, I just took the smallest piece that I used epoxy primer on um, to uh, you know just see if I could see a difference and I'm not seeing a difference at all. Everything's going on really, really smooth. One coat at a time, waiting 10 minutes in between coats. And we're gonna build that up. I'm gonna do probably three full. This is kind of my second kind of light pass that I've kind of done on this. So um, yeah, uh, just waiting on the epoxy to fully dry on the main bits of the, cr of the uh, frame. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add color to that. It's really fun to paint a color on the frame, but there we're getting a first glimpse at that blue for the CB77 Superhawk. It's gonna look beautiful when we're all done. I'm using HUD spray. It's a PB5, which is the paint code. Do, 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 do. Where is it? PB5. And I believe this was a Chrysler paint that matched the paint code, but it's called Electric Blue. So that's what I'm using on this. And it's a really, really close match um, for, uh, for that original paint color. I'm just gonna keep going, guys. <laughs> this, I'm doing like my favorite stuff on these builds right now. And you can really see it's gonna be pretty. All right, we're gonna keep going. And now we wait, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Got the 2K Glamour ready to rock and roll on all the parts. All the blue bits are painted. Wait for it. Even got to the frame. There she be. And let this gas out for a while. And then we're gonna be able to hit this thing with clear. I'm gonna give it a give it a hot minute for sure. Don't know if I'll do it yet tonight. I could wait. I could wait a few hours and probably tackle it. But man, this thing is clean. And I'm telling you, it's really fun to paint a frame, something other than black. <laughs> super, super fun with this uh, Super Hawk to be going all blue like this. Everything came out just perfect. I don't think you're gonna find a drip <laughs> anywhere on it. And I tell you what, it is a really close match to that original blue, that navy blue PB5. Oh, I'm excited, so excited. This has been a weekend, man. It's almost like the rebirth of a bike, you know, when you get to this stage. You know, it's like now the vision is starting to come together. Last bits of painting to do is the silver fenders, silver side covers, and then we gotta tackle the tank. So it took all of my blue, I had six cans, to get through all of this, all right? So six cans to do it, and there we be. It is incredible. <laughs> Once you start adding clear to your projects, man, this 2K clear glamour just puts the oomph in the paint job. All the parts are looking absolutely fantastic. Waiting for this a little bit, giving this a little bit more time to chill before I hit the frame. I'm gonna clear the frame on this too. I just think it's gonna look so freaking classy. I am loving this paint job. It's 2K clear, man. For the win, using all the right paint. No doubt about it. Loving these results. And there we go. Clear coat on the frame. This thing is gonna look freaking stunning. It actually darkened the color up just a little bit. One more coat, one more wet coat of the clear on the frame. All the other bits are done. Look at that headlight bucket. Look at that headlight bucket. That thing's looking incredible. What a day, what a transformation. Man, it's all in now. It's. It's all in now, look at that. This is gonna look yummy. <laughs> this is going to look yummy when it's done. 
It's going to go through a resting period. And we'll see what we got. But all indications are saying, holy buckets. <laughs> oh man, I love sandblasting. I love painting. I love this is the stuff that I love doing. I got the products right. All right. This is gonna be a wrap, guys. Can. Last can getting down there. Look at this though. Try to pay attention while I'm recording here, but this is gonna be a wrap. We got our three, four coats on this. I think this is actually four. I just couldn't really stop myself. This 2K Clear is an amazing product. And there we go. Can is sputtering on me. So, you know, that's time. Almost time. Almost time. Yeah. Time to, look at that. <laughs> time to call it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. 1967 CB77. This thing looks incredible. Super excited. I'm gonna let this place air out and give this video a proper closing. This is a full day job. The key is getting started early so you can get it done in a day. Sandblasting took a day and painting took a full day. Roll out of bed early, get it done. You can get it done. Look at this. Incredible, all the blue bits on the 1967 CB77 Super Hawk are complete and they're gonna lay there and they're gonna cure for the next 24 hours at least. This is a huge step <laughs> in this. This looks absolutely beautiful. I think I actually have a really good color match here too. The clear just makes it pop just a little bit. <laughs> I know they weren't cleared, but it, how could I not? How, how could I not clear this? It's beautiful. It looks so incredible. I'm so excited. Um, you know, one of the things is that some people may criticize saying, hey, you know, you really should have used, you know, a uh, air, air paint gun, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I get that, but on a budget build and, um, you know, DIY, guys, you can do this. You can do this stuff yourself if you buy the right products. Look at that. This has been a whirlwind of a weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe. It's one of the best things you can do to help support the channel. Look at that light bucket. It looks so perfect. This is some of my best... This is some of my best rattle can painting I've ever done in my life, and I used all the right products. High quality stuff. <sighs> also, don't forget, if you love this stuff, if you're into restoring old motorcycles, go to Facebook and join the Keep On Wrenching community group. And you know what? Everybody loves a sticker, so go to keeponwrenching.com and request your free sticker. This has been way too much fun. Thanks so much for being along for the ride. And uh, I'll see you in the next video or live stream.